Hello everyone, so welcome back to this channel and uh, today in this video session I will discuss how we can uh, chip, create a zip file on the IFS so I have already created two videos where I am showing a, a simple program where I am zipping only one file and another video in another video I am showing you how we can uh, zip multiple files in a sync in a single zip file. So at one place I am zipping only one file and on another place I am zipping multiple files. So that has already been covered in my previous videos that you can watch on my channel at any time. Now this time what I will be doing is uh, whenever we uh, we do zip or we do create the zip files what we need to do is to we need to pass the path to the IFS uh, to the uh, command that through which we are creating the zip file. So basically, we create the zip files using the jar command, the archive command that is run through the Q shell in the Q shell environment using the Q strqsh command. So there, what we do is we need to provide the path. So either I can provide the path through some variables or or what and the file name uh, or I can do is I can set the path and then only provide the file name. So if you look at this simple program here what I did is I have actually set it the path. So the path is slash home slash easy class and including the file name pf1.csv. So I'm providing the full path here and this is the create dot dot chip file so slash home slash easy class slash pf1 dot chip so basically these are two variables this variable is used to create a csv file on the ifs and this variable is used to create the zip file so if you look at this command that is run through the strqsh uh, in the q shell environment so what i'm doing is i'm building this command so this is the r command and this is the format of this R command where is R and the options and then the zip file and files to be chipped basically. So what I'm doing here is I am passing, I'm building this command and with these options and passing, passing the full path. So here you can see I'm passing the full path that is slash home slash easy class slash pf1.csv so basically I am zipping only one file pf1.csv located on that home location and I am again passing the whole path here to basically uh, zipping the, that csv files this one so you can see this is uh, way where I am pa passing the full path now I don't want to pass the path let me only pass the file and I want to chip a particular file on present on the particular uh, location so I can do it another way like I am setting the or changing the directories to set that directory location and then I am I can download it from there now for this purpose I need to run the two commands multiple commands at the same time in the queue share environment now you can see this one so what I am doing here is this is the create underscore csv variable which is slash home slash easy class slash new directory now let me let me check if this directory exists or not walk link So this does not exist. So let's first create this directory. Okay. So you can see this directory got created now. What I'll do is on this directory I'll be creating this pf3.csv file or I can create pf5.csv file let's say and this is the variable and this is not required anymore let me delete this 
and this is the file from which I'm creating the CSV file basically. So from lib and slash from file and I'm going to create the CSV file at this location, this directory location and this these are the parameters so converting the bcds to the sky and adding crlf character character and line feed on the last line of each that file then what i'm going to do is i'm going to execute this zar command so before that i'm going to execute the change directory command cd command to basically change the directory so i am setting correct if i do not set this would be my current directory and if i change the directory so i'm changing the directory like running the command cd so first of all i'm building this command cd slash home slash easy class slash new directory so at this till this location on this path i'm changing the directory now the, change, the current directory points to this location. So what I have done is through this copy to IMPF command, I've created this uh, pf5.csv at that location. So now what, what I can do is I can zip that file. So whatever presented this location, I can zip that. So for now at this location, only pf5.csv uh, uh, is present so what I am doing is I am using now this czar command cfm create and this f means I am giving the file name pf5.chip name and I am not creating the manifest file and star star means all of the objects within this location so currently there is only one object at this location so that one object will be zipped now you can see and and with in between that so what I am doing is I am running these two commands one after another on the same QSS session because if I do let's say I, I build this command only and I then run the uh, then run the SJQSS CMD and CMD means this command only so this will set the path in that session now if I again build the command like this ZAR CFM this one and again start QSS so that will uh, you know that will start the another QSS session so every time a new QSS session starts and in the new QSS session means uh, I have set it let's say I have set it the uh, change the directory in the first session that I opened now I did not run the command ZAR command there but I now restarted in a session and ran this command there so that will fail so that won't work so what I need to do is I need to run multiple commands in the same QS shell environment subsequently one after another so what I'm doing is I'm running this command first and using this and symbol to telling that after executing this command just execute this command zar cfm create a zar the file pf5 from chip and chip all the files located and this current directory that is now the current directory is this one and then executing this command using this tqss command now let me compile this let's compile it with source so that we can debug this and we'll check Just add the back point at line number one and then call chip five. So you can see that it will basically create
So on this location, you can see pf5.csv got created, which has data from that data file pf5 to the Indian library easy class one. Now, this will basically execute two commands. First one, changing this current directory to this location, this path, and then ran this zar command, Java archive command on the same session. So you can see this command has been built. So both the commands got executed. Let me check in the job log. So command ended normally with exist status zero means uh, both the commands are executed. Let's check the work link. So it should be created on this path. So you can see that on this path, the pf5.zip is created. Uh, let me show you on the ACS, then IFS. So I would open this already from ACS. Integrated file system, then coming to the new directory. So you can see this one. Just first left click and then right click and then download. So let's check pf5.csv. So you can see pf5 is zipped here. So this way we can zip the file on the IFS directory. Uh, so we can run multiple commands like uh, changing the directory or then Jipping the files on that directory, on that current directory, and that is possible uh, using the same strqs execution command. We can run all different com multiple commands on the same session, one after another, by using this syntax. So th that's that's the thing that I want to show you in this video, and that's all. Thank you and have a nice time.